Man, I hate starting videos like this, but here's the deal. The video you were supposed to see here was Vegas and Talladega. The reason why you're not seeing those two races? In my three years of playthroughs, with the same software and the same capture cards, I have never lost sound like this in my life. Come on! It's fucking sitting here with my thumb on my ass! If you guys were in my shoes, you'd be as confused as I am right now. On the bright side, Vegas absolutely did not matter and was not a very exciting race. Uh, just a quick look at the finishing results. So I finished 10th, Stuart Friesen won. It wasn't a big deal. It didn't matter in our playoff hopes and dreams at all since we were advanced. Moving on to Talladega, I actually ran pretty well. I ran at the front, led some laps, was up there at the end, and I just didn't get enough draft help. And I was kind of complaining about it there at the end. But at the end of the day, Talladega wasn't really that crazy of a race. Stuart Friesen won back-to-back, -back, and now he is on to Homestead. We ended up coming home finishing 8th. And where that leaves us now, we're three points ahead of the cut line. And you'll probably see that uh, now in this next episode. So once again, terribly sorry about this. Uh, honestly, if there was any episode this was ever going to happen, this would be the one because it really was not that exciting. Take it all. I don't even know what I was going to title this video. The only way I can describe this failure is like when you turn on the dishwasher and it makes all those cool sounds like you know it's running. But for some reason, like, the water just didn't work in the dishwasher. So you thought everything was being cleaned all night, except you opened it up and it wasn't. It's kind of how my sound worked. Everything pointed to it being working, and for some reason it just didn't. So, uh, yeah, that sucks. Hello there, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mode. Today's a big video. We got Martinsville and Phoenix. And, of course, those are the last two races this round, so... We either go to Homestead, or we don't go to Homestead in this video. So here's the situation. Stuart Friesen is on to Homestead with his win. In Vegas, I guess. Uh, Brad Moffitt's looking good. Plus 19. Ross Chastain. Wait, what the hell? I don't know how he's plus 2, but ahead of me, and I'm plus 3. I don't know how that works, but... Um, Johnny Sauter, 3 points, bullet cut line, and then Matt Crafton is screwed. So this is likely our, our best chance to probably win. Either way, I think we can score good points here. I think we'll be okay. I don't know about Phoenix, but I'm uh, Phoenix. Phoenix is a little bit more scary because it's uh, well, yeah. Phoenix is a little bit more scary, a little bit more high speed of a short track technically. So I think it's considered a short track. Yeah. So uh, we'll select our car 95, 90, 90. Hopefully, it's good enough. Oh boy, here we go, man. This is a huge race. Corbin Forrester posted a fast lap, some practice. See a two bay starting, looks like 25th. Corn Cobb wants payback. Corn Cobb's gonna have to go faster. Kyle Benjamin failed at tech inspection. All right. Well, here we go. So we're starting, uh, rolling off P4. Great qualifying run, but look who's starting on pole. Matt Crafton. 22 points out of it. Likely probably gonna have to win or get some major playoff points. There's some stage. I always mix them up. But yeah. yeah of course, Ben Rhodes is up here. This ought to be fun. Um, yeah, I did, the thing's pretty fast. We're still, I mean, once again, straightaway speed still, still a little bit of a factor, but we got the gears pretty good. Um, I think I got the most out of the gears, and I'm honestly the most out of the setup. I think, I don't think the setup could be much better. Look at that, we're out straightaway and Stuart freezing. Oh, we were there for a minute. We couldn't quite clear. I really wanted to clear, though. I got to get down to the bottom. Well, I, okay, Stuart, I'll be paid. Whoa, he shit! Jesus! Come on! Slap two! Harrison Burton, you're asking for it, punk. Oh, you fall, oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I was just trying I was just trying to check up, man. Let's do it freeze and go, but no. Look at the ass pack me, Jesus. Well already. Um Yeah, it's it's not too bad. Man, dude, anybody wanna take a guess at what my brake bias is? And I'm still loose going off in the corners. I am at 80% front brake by. <laughs> that is ridiculous. In terms of uh, probably anything else, the only I mean, I, the only set up things I compare it to are I racing because I racing is pretty realistic. I always run mine like baseline right there around 60%. Anywhere I go that requires brake usage, I run 60%. Uh, that gives that gives you a, a nice little bit of turn. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm at 80%. I'm still getting loose. Somebody's gonna be getting loose here in a second. Look at that. <laughs> Took it like a champ. Yeah, we got five to go. Look, I'm not I'm not gonna be held up by some little shit face who's not in the playoffs, alright? So if you got a fucking problem, buddy, 
you can fuck right off. You can fuck right off into the into the pits. I wonder if I can do that. Can I do that? I'm about to find out. Come on, tough guy. Come on, tough guy. I ah, just fucking dump your shit. I had about enough of your fucking ass. Fuck out of here. Well, there you go. Fifth in the first day. That's pretty good. Good quality point six right there. Uh, we need him. But Matt Crafted with the stage win. That's big time right there. Oh, boy. That's big time. Stuart Friesen doesn't matter. He's advanced. So, uh, you know, for, for the guys who are racing, that's good stuff. And everybody's pitting. Very interesting. Well, I think I might stay out, honestly, for this second stage here. Ooh, boy. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I probably shouldn't have done this, but uh, I did it anyways. Our I mean, the entire wear wasn't really that bad, so why am I restarting down here? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was something. Oh, Jesus. Ben Rhodes. Fucking rooting me out of the way. I had about enough of your ass, too. You want to... That's a big one in Martinsville. <laughs> Yeah, way to go. I'm still piling it up back here. Way to go. You got a problem? Fuck right off with you. There you go. Damn, Matt Crafton actually got a piece of that. I mean, sorry. Ben Rhodes is being a little dickhead about it. The there we go. Down to this bottom line to restart. I don't know why this is still a thing, but restart or is still goofy some of these tracks. And Stuart Friesen got to the gears really quick. He about took me through the middle because I didn't restart in the right lane. There we go. Now we got some track position. I mean... He lost a couple laps there to that caution. Matt Kraft is not a rival, so he won't fuck with me. This truck might be good enough. I might be able to pull away. Now we got some clean track. Oh, shit. This thing is pretty good. The only thing they got me again is that straightaway speed. It's uh, We're still lacking a little bit in that department, but this thing, this thing boogies through the corners. It's still loose, but if you can hit it right, mm, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's going to be some... Uh, Defensive driving, I need every point I can get. But it, if Matt Crafton does get by me, it's not that big of a deal. But again, we're racing him too on points. Because none of us have a win yet. But he's in a lot worse shape than we are, so it's cool. Oh, yeah, he's, he's dude, he's getting anxious. He's the one to poke it in there. He's, he's, he's trying. He wants to. Yeah, I actually think I do have enough to hold him off. This is that track position, man, dude. He's, they, they, they get some, like, ridiculous runs off in the corner. They just, like, full send. I don't know why. It's like they never hit the brakes. They just go from, like, full speed, look at that, to just, like, stop right in the side. Ah, oh, shoo. We got it. A little, little pinch in action there. I checked him way up. This thing's dead rolls. This thing's rolling, man. God bless. Oh, man. I love Martinsville. I was about to say, I love Martinsville, man. When you get a good handling race car around here, man, ooh, that's a good time. But, um, well, that's interesting. Yeah, look at that. We're in the shit of the right sides, which is cool. But um, that didn't end the stage, so we're going to stay out again. I don't know what the hell's going on up there, but uh, here we go. Yeah, we just got to hold on here. We got Stuart Friesen behind us, so um, we don't got any rivals here for, for a little bit, so that's good. Man, look at this. There's some side draft action going on here. Ooh. Oh, it's a one-lap shootout for the stage win. I overdrove it. No, we're good. Oh, man, Stuart Friesen. <laughs> This eyes got real wide there for a minute. Now I'll take my uh, I'll take my stage win. Thank you very much. The real question is: These guys are gonna pit here. I was surprised they pit at the end of the first stage, but uh, this is a great gamble if they pit right here. Fuck yeah! Those are big time points if we don't get this win. That's uh that's two stages worth of good points. And uh, yeah, these guys aren't pitting. Well, that sucks. But that's the thing, though. Man. This must be how Bill Byron feels. Stay, stays out for stage points, gets good stage points, and then, yeah, just fucked for the race win. But um, y'all know how fresh tires are. I don't know if I'll be able to get back in the lead, and I probably won't. But um, we're not gonna be able to ride on those right sides the rest of the race. So I think this is, I think this, I think this is good, because uh, we we can roll it around here. We got plenty of time, plenty of time. I know we got some rivals coming up through here, but. Green, uh, we got those valuable stage points, and now we got fresh ass tires. So if this race, yeah, you know, depending on how this race goes, there's a good chance uh, we can work our way up through here. Forty, oh my, yeah. If, especially if they do that, high line of Martinsville, four wide of Martinsville. Holy shit! Josh Blake is a rival. Yeah, really. This is what we're gonna do. 
this is what we're gonna do? You fucking wanker. Inside, inside. Fuck you. I would totally dump you right now, but you are not worth my time. What a yoke. Hey, apparently best friends with Gus Dean. Today I learned. Look at this. It's like Bristol. <laughs> Top groove, just throw it off in there. That thing sails. There we go. It's always fun passing the scrubs back here, but. Oh, man. Everybody's the best friendship with Dylan. You know, at this stage, man, I got my, I got a fair share of best friends. Like, usually this is the time of year where literally everybody's my rival. I think I've done that before. But this is nice. This is a nice change of pace. I actually have friends. Oh, hello, Natalie. That rear end's torn up. <laughs> that front end's torn up, too. That's a Natalie Decker truck if I've ever seen one. Oh, shit. Oh my, which which direction are we going here, Eekies? Man, high, low, low, high, fucking spasming all over the track. Pick a lane, dude. Your mama. Clear high, bud. Inside, inside. You wish you could hang. You didn't even make it to the playoffs. Bum ass. Oh man, how are we gonna die? I don't. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, I'm gonna follow in in finger unless Eekies has a problem here. I think he does have a problem. He does has a problem. Sheldon, Careful, still there. yeah, you just you just you just hang out in between us here. Apparently, I'm best friends with Austin Hill too. Clear high, clear high. Damn. Yeah, this thing is spread out. I did not come up through here quite as fast as I uh, as I thought I would. Then again, that whole uh, Josh Billick thing had a uh, yeah, that kind of right, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Sauter has not had a very good race. That's for damn sure. I don't even think he scored any stage points so. Big if true. No oh boy. I'm just gonna go right by Ross Chastain. Fucker. Inside. Alright, here we go. Stay Down at 13 low. laps and we've cracked a top 10. It's third freezing. Yeah, ooh, ooh, left that open, Brett. Look at that thing. Rotate the center of the corner. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. We're actually we're we're cooming. We're on our way here. Get Dipple right here. We'll definitely Careful. get back inside the top five. I don't know if we got enough time. If Gillen up here, why is Massey in sixth? What is this? You bet, you better get off. Right, what a guy! I just like it doesn't make any sense to me, man. I'm really angry at this guy. Let me just like get across his nose going off in the corners to see how well I can wreck myself. That made that 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 makes it a lot interesting now. That puts us up in here to sixth, with uh, under ten laps to go, and this uh, this this closes back up. Now this also could mean that if we do something stupid up here, we wreck and score a finishing position. But um, if we're ever going to win, I don't know. I definitely could have got inside the top five if it would have went green. But now I mean, we got this is our best chance to win it right here. Eight laps. I'm going to hit this hot line. Y'all know the deal. There we go. I'm going I'm to take it down here, Ben. I got two rivals to get through. We're going to do this. You know what? Fuck it. Why don't I even play nice? You guys don't. Harrison Burton can hold it. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Oh, here we go. Oh, it checked up real nice right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, guys. Todd Gillen going to choke another one away. Look at that straightaway speed. Team Goldmine Racing versus KBM. Did. To the lead. Eight shit failed. Oh shit! Fresh tires for the win! Oh shit! Oh shit! Five to go, baby! Nobody's catching my ass, that's for damn sure. Poor Tyler Ankum just chilling there on pit road. I don't, I don't know what happened to him. Two laps remain. I definitely did not think I'd get back here. I definitely didn't. I don't think I had enough time to get back there in the green, but. Uh, thanks to Mason Massey. The one guy, he just like every time I get near him, he just has to make sure he tries to screw me any way possible. And this time he tried and ended up actually helping me. And he's going to send me on a trip to Homestead by Emmy Speedway. Sweet. Thanks, Mason. White flag. Oh, man. We're going to end this race right before we hit live traffic. That's the way I like to do it. For the final time through three and four. You all know the deal. We're going to Homestead, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! The, the little team that could. Eat shit, Travis Quapple. 
102 speed rating. That's that ain't too bad. Fuck yeah. Here we go. How we doing, everybody? Yeah! I guess we don't need the short track truck, so we're going to Phoenix next. It don't matter. Hell yeah! Wow, look at the finishing results. So stage win and race win for us. We're going to Homestead. Todd Gillen coming home. P2, Harrison Burton, Ben Rhodes, Parker Klegerman. Top five. Uh, Crafton with the stage win came home ninth. So still not too bad for his championship hopes. Uh, we'll see how it kind of shakes out for him and then the rest of everybody else. But Tyler Ankrum, oh boy, 31 laps down. Didn't make it too far. And there is a look at your updated playoff standings. So me and Stuart Friesen are on the homestead. There's half of the final four set. Brett Moffitt likely to be the third. And then it's up in the air. Ross Chastain, nine points to the good. Kraft is nine points out, and then Johnny Sauter is only 13 points out. So it's all going to come down. Who scores them stage points, man? Who comes out with a good finish in Phoenix? Pissed. No grandfather clock. Where's the confetti coming from? It's just kind of... <laughs> I never really noticed that. It's just random confetti that falls from the heavens. Now that you have 15 lifetime wins, you are super close to having a statue made in your honor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Team Goldmine Racing is going to make a statue out of me. They're going to have some, like, eight-year-old make some little, like, clay fucking statue. Stick it out there at the front door of Goldmine Racing Shop. But thanks, Austin Hill. Thank you. Uh, Stu Freeze, I can't, I can't think of anybody I'd rather race than my very good friend, Michael Cozy. Ah, touching, man. Natalie Decker tweets from 21st place with a broken truck. Yeah, you won it all. But you totally had to run me off the road to do it. Ah, no, I didn't. I absolutely did not. You just happen to be a roadblock in the way to my victory, so fuck yourself. Now that brings us to Phoenix. Once again, it's close. Oh boy, it's close for the rest of the guys, but it don't matter for us. We're going to Homestead, so we're uh, we're gonna run this last one here. Well, certainly glad we got it done in Martinsville, because we only have one short track truck, and then the most I could get it up to is 88, 85, 86. So, uh, <laughs> oh man. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's hop into it. Here we go. This race sets the final four for Homestead. We're going to see who we're racing against. We already know we're racing against our best friends, Stuart Friesen. Uh, Park Kligerman's car, Park Kligerman's car is really fast today. I don't know about that one. Stuart Friesen's on pole. All right, and Stuart Friesen. He's looking to win himself a championship, dude. He's all set on it. He, uh, yeah, he won, I mean, he won the first race in Vegas. I mean, he was pretty fast in Martinsville, too, and shit, he's on it. I didn't even qualify. I said, the hell with it. Well, I might as well come for the back, see what's up to all my friends back here. Um, so 10 lap first stage. Uh, that's why our goal position is in 10. We earned a little bit more money. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, I mean, it's set up being awful. I don't know what Joe Nemechek just did. He, he did something. Ah, oh, here we go. I, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I think if I can race, like, if I can pass some of these guys cleanly, it'll go down. Like, Joe Nemechek, like, if I don't hit him in this race, it's bound to go down. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't think I saw him at all. At Martinsville. I'm just trying to get some of these away for Homestead because y'all know, man, this game likes to do me dirty. Ah! I can't even pass from second to last. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just get him on the apron. <laughs> That's a nice line down there. Hell yeah. I was gonna cheat it all up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, how you like it? I'm slow. Does this count? Junior Nemechek is about to send me. Oh, he sent me. That probably counts. I, mm. We're racing for last, guys. Come on. What are we doing? B fucking boneheads, man. There's a time and a place. But when you're racing for last, and that's all about all you can do, you're trying your hardest, and all you can do is last. Why are you wrecking people? Huh? Why are you trying to fuck with people? What are you doing? There you go. This thing's starting to come alive now. I'm going to get the hang of it. I'm starting to roll past a couple of these suckers. I'm still 28th. Let me tell you. <laughs> it's a good thing. That we got the job done in Martinsville, because that'd be bad. Ah, I mean, we scored pretty good stage points. I'm always, like, I'm fast at Martinsville usually no matter what. If I get to set up with, you know, pretty close, I'm usually pretty darn good. I, I can get it done. But, um, yeah, it definitely would be a little bit closer than I would have liked uh, here at uh, Phoenix, for sure, if I didn't win. So, once again, it don't matter. Oh, God. I'm just trying, I'm trying to lay all my rivals, man. Like, I hate corn cob, but, like... It's so annoying just getting those messages after like every race, every race. And every time I ever have to come from the back, 
It's always her, man. It's always her. Just a small side note. I'd like to give a nod to 704 Games NASCAR Heat. Um, stay low, stay low. Because you could actually drive on the apron here and not do anything to you. Like, thanks. You're really appreciate it. The apron is a great tool at Phoenix because Phoenix is sucks and it's flat. But when now. you can dewedge a car right. like that and get it to turn, that's a great feeling. And it's an even better feeling when the game allows you to do that. So, tip up. Uh, I salute you. Good job. <laughs> Look at this. This is the two fourths. I don't know. This is random. Uh oh. Oh, F. <laughs> Karma. He was totally about to sideswipe me or do something stupid and he blew up. That's what you get. What a scrub. Look at this. This thing just turns. <laughs> this thing just turns. White flag in the air. The tire is not too bad. We're down to 69 on that right rear. Nice. It makes a pretty good. Look at this. Using all of it, man. And I can. I appreciate that. So what are we? Yeah, start. Okay. I'll be able to get Corbin here. Yeah, this is so weird. Phoenix, I, like, I can't get used to this. There we go. Hold your line. Got one outside. We got him. All right, you're clear there. right on. All right. Not too bad. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They got the little, uh, look at that. They got the cactus, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, flag stand light thing. Cool. All right. Well, nobody's pitting. Do I really want to go back and do that again? I, unfortunately, I think I have to because my tires are fucking destroyed. All right, well, 14 spots, and to the back we go. But Iki's pit, and so did Dylan Lepton. We'll see what they do. Um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so I think um, I pretty much left the tire wear settings kind of like the same from Dega. So it's like, I think basically I just get a little bit more grip on longer runs, so it's not like ridiculously. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that at all. And, um, oh, man, look at this. Top side, turn three. And then, yeah, we're going to beat right with Corn Cobb. No, she checked up. Hell, yeah. But, yeah, I, I left that, and I think I, I like that. I like that. Because um, now, like, on the long run, you get slower. But it's just, like, you're not just wrecking. That's really annoying doing, like, a, a, a 10, 12-lap run. And by the end of it, just wrecking. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I wasn't a fan of it. So, I think that was a very positive change. So now we got, um, so now, yeah, I mean, that just, like, doesn't wreck. You know what I mean? It's not just wrecking loose. Um, and that's the thing. It's, like, on old tires, it never got, like, ridiculously tight or anything. It was always the same thing. Just loose. Wrecking loose, wrecking loose, wrecking loose. No matter how the run went, pretty much. So, um, yeah, it doesn't really happen anymore. So that's, that's cool. I think that balanced things out, um, a little bit better. Um, you know, I'm still trying to get something that I'm, I'm cool with, but look at this, man. Right at the top of Phoenix. I like this. This is cool. Hell yeah. This thing's hauling, man. I don't know what. <laughs> I just kind of like, I, I mean, I don't think, I guess we haven't done Phoenix, so I, like, I didn't have anything to go off of. I just kind of threw something in. I didn't change it at all. I ran a couple practice laps, and it was actually pretty good. Those are my favorite. I just kind of throw something in there. That's the thing. I, I talked about this before, but like NASCAR Heat, like once again, like track, like specific tracks are still. It's still not like still there. on the level of like iRacing importance. Like obviously, you couldn't throw the same setup in the same car on every single track. Um, say if you were like on iRacing in the trucks, but this game, I'm not saying you can do that with this game either. You can't, but you can run a lot of similar stuff at a lot of, at most of the tracks. You know what I mean? And, and still be pretty. So, uh, you know, I get to the same point where you, you run the, the, the uh, I don't know. You just, I, I basically just have a couple different, like, little tweaks here and there. Just enough to get the thing kind of the way it turns. And I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I don't know. It's one of those things, like, honestly, um, I like to try to help you guys out as much as I can. And, again, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not, any, I'm not any better than you guys, really. But um, it's one of those things, like, Honestly, if you just put some time, if you just have a little bit of time and patience with it, and that's how it goes with most things. But you have a little time and patience, do a little bit of research on your own, you'll figure it out. Y'all are smart, I know you. And once you get kind of comfortable with, you know, putting in setups and you kind of get a feel for what, what things do, then you can kind of do it on most tracks. Throw something in there and just go. <laughs> you know, make a couple little tweaks. Oh, man, two laps remaining. Um, let's see here. So, Matt Crafton, this is as far as I've been in the front all damn day. And, um, I like this top of, top of, what corner is this? One and two? I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. 
Yeah, three. I like that. I didn't mean to run the top this time. I'm gonna put it in the wall. Ugh. Arson line of Phoenix. Things I never thought I'd say. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Well, there went that. I don't know what the hell that did. It kind of. I got loose on me. Um. Yeah. So man crafting. He's in there. He's gonna get some stage points. Um. Parker Kligerman's lead right now. I don't, I don't know if y'all noticed that. I just noticed that. Okay. And we don't know where Johnny Sauter's at. Um, I would assume he's towards the front. Which, that's interesting. All right, well, there's the end of stage number two. That'll earn you a few stage points. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> yeah, here you go. So, uh, oh, never mind. Did I pass him, I guess, at some point? Where's, um, where's Buddy at? Johnny Sauter's from the 23rd! Damn. Everybody's pinning. All right, well, um... A game two spots actually. Dylan Lupton and Christian Eke stayed out. Oh brother. Nah, I won't cheat. I'll be a nice guy. Oh, I should have cheated. My crafter took took my <laughs> took my little spot in there. All right. Well, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to get in the middle of this. I'd like to win. I don't think I got winning speed. That's cool if I don't. Unless these guys check each other up really bad. These slow asses up here. Look at dude. Look at dude's dude's done. Kyle Benjamin, he said top side, he saw me running it. He said, I'm gonna try it, look at this. Kyle Benjamin, it's a P2, baby. Hell yeah, nice. Look at us, the P3. Yeah, 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 okay. Jesus, Ben Rhodes took the shit out of that corner. Okay, okay, pardon the fuck out of me, go ahead. Yeah, it's okay, I'll get new. It's okay. My, uh, yeah, we didn't quite have the preparation level this week, but that's okay. I'm going to Homestead. Who, who is here? There's only one man we know for sure, and that's Stuart Friesen, so. All right, Grant, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I know you're antsy. Come on. So anxious to get this spot. Go go ahead and get it, buddy. Man, remember when Grant Anfinger was in the playoffs there for a second? He was in there for like 10 minutes. He had a great run. Jeez, okay, man. Let everybody and their mama go. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yep. Have a great race, everybody. Okay, we'll catch y'all later. Oh, 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 Todd Gillen running out of talent again. Almost. Good save. Talent restored. Talent. Well, it was fun being in the top five. <laughs> oh, man. I had a uh, way down here real quickly, but it was cool there. It was, that was, uh... Whoa! Holy shit! Pardon me, good sir. Brett Moffat, dude. You need to chill out, dude. I, I was like four. I mean, how many car lengths was he behind me before I set up for that corner? And and, and I'm going to have to look at the tape. I didn't even like, like, he was not even a thought. I turned into the corner and he just threw it off my left rear. Like, what are you doing? Well, I already lost plenty of spots. Might as well get some fresh rubber going to the back. All right, well, see if we just get all we can get here in these last couple laps. Honestly, I probably should have stayed out there. I don't know if this is going to be, if my tires, if these fresh tires are going to be worth it. Getting up through here. We're going to find out real quick. That's for damn sure. And Johnny Sauters has been a bum this race. Look at this. Back here running with Joe. Hate to see it. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the end of those playoff hopes and dreams. But, um, yeah, better, better luck next year, buddy. Yeah, never mind. Them fresh tires. It's always worth it for fresh tires in this game, let me tell you. It's always worth it for fresh tires. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. Up the hill. And it just boogies off the corner, man. Off the top. It boogies. Come on, Corey Cobb. Couldn't get you some. If you think you're fast enough. Oop, you're not. Man, that's saying I don't know what it is. It is good in one and two. I love it. You're a hoe. I don't like. I don't love you. Come on down here, eat you some wall. Come on, motherfucker. That's what I thought. All right, you're clear. You punk one. ass. Come on. You want some more? Let's take you down here. Let's take you down here, punk. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, come on. Come on. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, yeah. It sucks when you when when it's done to you, doesn't it? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh Jordan Anderson. Oh Jordan. And the sad part about it is, it's always the new names, man. White flag. I ain't letting this punk ass beat me. Fucker. 
You lose the rest of your spots. We'll be seeing you. Well, that's gonna do it for Phoenix. Uh, <laughs> top 20, okay. Eh, wasn't quite the top 10, but uh, we'll get him next time. We better get him next time. So look at the finishing results. Park Clickerman won. Okay. Ben Rhodes, uh, Kyle Benjamin, Matt Craft in P6. He might just get in. Where Ross Chastain finish? Did I miss him? No, nah, he's up front. Ross Chastain finished fourth. Depending on how those stage points go, I think Ross Chastain will probably still get in. I don't know, though. We better find out. Ooh, there you have it. Man, Johnny Slaughter wasn't even close. But there's your final four. Stuart Friesen, ourselves, Brett Moffitt, and Ross Chastain by five points. All right. Michael Cozy Jr. advances to the Gander Raptors Truck Series Championship 4. That's a mouthful. Analysts debate if Michael Cozy Jr. has what it takes to win. We about to find out here in the next video where them tweets. Yeah, suck my ass for making the Final Four. Thanks, Stuart. Anthony Alfredo, who does not have a ride, but uh, is annoyed. That last race didn't go too well, but it's alright. It happens to all of us. Just keep working hard and move on. Happens to all of us, except for me, sitting at home on the couch. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah, we're back to the neutral. Clay Greenfield, good to good to hear from you again. Hey, that was a really great effort. You didn't get the finish you deserved, but everybody noticed and knew you were there. All right, <laughs> Clay Greenfield, one more time for us. You're going to Homestead. Heck yeah, championship four. Heck yeah. Okay, <laughs> Anthony Alfredo, again. From oh, home. Yeah, baby. You made it to the final four. It's time to go win at Homestead and take home the championship. Oh, man. Jordan Anderson, this is it. You're a championship round Gander Outdoors truck series driver. Hashtag, you are awesome. Apostrophe and everything. You are awesome, Jordan Anderson. Thank you. Todd Gillen, ouch. That last race was a tough one. Thanks for your input, Todd Gillen. And there you have it. One race remains. The Ford Eco Boost 200. Time to crown a truck series champion in the next video. There's your final four. Brad Monfit, Ross Chastain, Stuart Fries, and the guys we're racing against. Those are probably the most, just about the most four OP in the truck series. Uh, there's a good chance I'd probably get shit on. But you never know. It's, uh, it's definitely not going to be easy. That's for damn sure. But uh, we've gotten a lot faster. We've gotten a lot better. I got a little smarter too so uh we'll do our best but uh that's gonna do it for us here and uh hope you guys enjoy today's episode hope you guys come back to see how it goes in uh, homestead it uh it'll be something <laughs>